Hello, good morning. It's Monday again and now we would like to welcome you on our Family Matters vlog number 6. Family Matters po tayo ngayon. Uh, hindi po tayo morning inspiration. Uh, today po, uh, concerning the topic that we have to, that we will be discussing, we would like to thank one of our subscriber, Sir Art Tungol po. Ulitin ko po ulit. Thank you po, Sir Art Tungol, for uh, suggesting a topic for today. Ano po? Uh, si Mr. Art Tungol po is a classmate of my wife, Kiki, during the high school days. And uh, he had happened to, to view and listen to our uh, Family Matters discussion, podcast, and uh, in the morning inspiration. And uh, just like what we are saying, we welcome uh, all parents and even our children to suggest us a topic to be discussed uh, on Family Matters issues. No po? Uh, alam po namin na uh, all of us parents and our children have uh, their side of uh, stories and, uh, and that you would like to everybody to be enlightened. Kaya ulitin ko po, we welcome suggestion on family matters or which subject or topic that you want to contribute uh, for our uh, discussions uh, on, on the coming issues of Family Matters topic. Again, Mr. Art Tungol, uh, we thank you very much for suggesting this topic. And uh, I hope uh, we give justice to your, to your uh, suggested topic to be discussed for today. Ang, ang topic po na diniscuss, uh, na sinadjust po ni Mr. Art Tungol, of course, he is a father of a family no po? at uh, alam ko po na, na alam niya through his experience that this topic is very important. So, ang topic po natin is uh, communication. Ang title po natin is Communication 202. Meron na po tayong communication topic na na-discuss before. Communication 101. No po? Ngayon naman po, to give way for Mr. Art Tungol um, uh, contribution on the topic that he suggested to be discussed today. Uh, entitled po natin ito na Communication 202. Um, ang title po ng, ng, ng topic na gusto mong i-discuss natin ngayon is Effective Communication in the Family. Uh, let us give a background on this matter. No po? Uh, tunay nga po na in every uh, organization, no po? especially the family, the family is the uh, main organization that uh, each of us is involved with. And we know that uh, communication plays a vital and important uh, uh, area to make the family uh, successful. And it is very important to, to, to note that uh, our, during the younger years ng ating mga anak, no po, uh, at early stage of their life, we should be able to teach them to, uh, how to communicate with us and, uh, to, and how we should express our feelings or the feeling of our children no po. in the very early in the very early stage of their life they should uh, have managed to learn how to express themselves we know that for a fact that uh, in every relationship communication will will break down no po, if we have not managed to teach our children the proper way of communicating. Of course, when we speak about communicating, it involves two, two, two way, ano po ito, two way topic po ito. To be able to establish a good communication in the family, we should, each and every one of us should learn to speak and express his or her emotions 
And at the same time naman also, we should learn how to listen. So yung two-way communication po nito is listening and talking. Ano po? Uh, napaka-importante po ng ating mga children ano po, na at their younger age, they have the ability to express their their emotions, ano po, their feelings, ano po, and uh, their ideas. Ano po. At gayon din naman po as parents, ano po, ay, uh, it is important for us to listen ano po, to our children and also, of course, we should allow them or we should teach them on how to listen to us, especially during their younger days. If we, uh, if we parents have managed to, 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 to build a strong communication ano po, with our children, it would be easy on the latter days. Ano po, na, 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 i, i, yung discipline of listening and talking, yung communicate, the proper way of communication, mas madali po habang lumalaki sila if we able to teach them how to express themselves and know how to listen. Uh, alam naman po natin na at the early stages ng ating mga anak, uh, madali lamang po yung pagdisiplina sa kanila in listening to us. Po. Kasi nandun yung authoritative uh, responsibility ng mga magulang na naturuan talaga yung mga bata. I, and the teaching them at the early stage would be much more easier. Ano po. Pero alam naman po natin when our children start to grow up, ano po, nag-iiba po yung, yung, yung manner of their listening and uh, talking with us. Uh, nakadalasan po yan po yung problema ng, ng maraming pamilya na hindi ma-express properly no, uh, yung kanilang mga emotions yung kanilang mga wants yung kanilang mga needs no po. at uh, kadalasan po diyan po nagmumula ang maraming problema sa family so before we go ahead with the topic uh, gamitin din po natin yung suggested bible verse ni Sir Art Tumol na matatagpuan po sa Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15 at ang sinasabi po nito instead speaking the truth in love we will grow to become in a, every respect of mature body of him who is the head that is Christ okay yan po yung ating Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15 uh, instead of speaking the truth in love we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ Praise uh, the Lord po. Sabi po ni Sir Art Tumol, ano po, A gentle answer turn away wrath, but a harsh word stir up anger. It could discuss the importance of honesty, kindness, and respect in communication within the family, emphasizing the need to listen actively, speak with empathy, and resolve conflict peacefully. Communication issues are indeed common in families, but they can be addressed effectively by applying principle found in the Bible. By fostering open, honest, and respectful communication grounded in love and forgiveness, families can overcome misunderstanding, strength, strengthen relationship, and create a supportive and harmonious environment for everyone involved. Oh, napakaganda po. Yan po yung sinabi ni Sir Art Tumol, uh, yung kabuoan ng kanyang contribution for today's topic. Uh, so, we will discuss further about the uh, about communication. Ano po. At, uh, actually po, uh, the building of communication practice inside the family should be learned by our children first and foremost. Kasi po, yun yung ating nurturing ground, ano po, yung, yung, yung family. Sinabi po natin sa mga previous podcast natin that 
family plays a very vital uh, role in building a society. Kasi po sila po yung future ng society natin. So, if they were managed to, to learn everything inside the house, definitely po, they will be a productive part of every society. Uh, hindi po sila magiging pabigat sa society natin. If we have managed to, to make the family as a nurturing ground for our children in every aspect of their life, 100% po, uh, they will be a productive uh, contributor in our society. Opo, so kaya, kaya po napaka-importante ng, uh, ng, 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 ng pamilya because that is the breeding ground of our children. Opo. And communication, when we say breeding ground, number one aspect of a personality opo, ay yung the ability to communicate. Yan nga po, matututunan dapat po yan ng ating mga anak sa loob ng ating kakaanak. Kaya po, in every aspect of our children, the breeding ground is the learning ground, the teaching ground, the nurturing ground is inside the family. Everything should be learned first by our children inside the family. So, in every aspect of human uh, human interaction, communication plays a vital role. Opo. The ability of our children to be to able to be able to relay their feelings, their their ideas, their emotion is so important to make them a a, a good person. Opo. Uh, maganda pong matutunan ng ating mga anak na to express their feelings, their ideas, their innovation, their inmost feeling po, upang mag-build ng, uh, ng proper uh, relationship inside the house and, and also outside the house. Po. Yung pong sinasabing communication ay, hindi, ay kung natutunan po natin yan sa ating sa loob ng tahanan ng ating mga anak, once they get out of the house and they become a part of a society, let's say, professionally, no po, uh, nagtatrabaho na po sila, they have their own careers, no po. At yung pong every companies that they will be involved with or they will be hired, it's also an organization. No po? It's also an organization. And that professional organization in the, in the company, I... Uh, Meron din pong sets of uh, communication level na kailangan to be able to achieve whatever area of professionally professionally involved ang ating mga anak. So hindi po matatakot yung ating mga anak in times the day comes na nasa outside world na po sila. No po. Kaya yung pong yung pong communication no po ay napaka-importante po. At uh, yung pong ating mga anak, we should, as parents, we should uh, be able to distinguish them from one another. How do they express their emotion? How do they express their feeling? Yung pong communication, ay number one po, yung way of expressing it, ay uh, by talking. Pero po, habang lumalaki po ang ating mga anak, dapat po nakikilala nila. Dahil unique po ang uh, individuality ng ating mga anak no po. even if they have the same blood running on their veins definitely po makikita po natin yung distinguishing mark ng bawat isa sa mga anak natin which was uh, uniquely uh, created by our Lord no po. Uh, yung, yung manner of uh, communicating po ng ating mga anak ay iba-iba no po. of course there is one set na, na kailangan they should know how to express or talk no po? and uh, they should also learn how to listen that is the, the basic communication requirement to be able to communicate what's inside their heart what's inside their minds no po? pero po misan uh, habang lumalaki ang ating mga anak we should also acknowledge the fact that they have that 
they have different ways of expressing themselves. Misan po hindi po nagsasalita ang ating mga anak. Kakaiba po yung way of relaying what she wants to for us to to understand. Yun po. Yung pong proper communication somehow ay uh, not only being expressed by talking. Ang ating po mga anak may iba-iba pong pamamaraan how to communicate with us. Ah, katulad po ng aming mga anak na tatlo po sila. Pero yung manner of their communicating or their expressing their feelings towards us, iba-iba po. Yung pong bunso kong anak, uh, si Christopher, ay uh, siya po yung 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 klaseng anak na one word ang response parang kulang di po ba magsasalita siya uh, inintay mo siyang magsalita at ipahayag ang kanyang kaloob pero napaka napaka tipid niya po sa pagsasalita one word lang pero yung word one word niya it covers a lot ito po so meron pong ganyang mga bata tayo o mga anak na na meron. Ito po, meron po mga anak na, 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 na mga anak natin na one word lang yung salita niya. Kahit kahaba-haba lang sabihin mo tapos ang maririnig mo lang one word or one line. Tapos na. Na-express niya na lahat yung, yung kanyang mga mga ibig sabihin, ibig i-respond sa issues or the topic na kinakaharap ng pamilya. Meron naman po akong isang, yung anak ko naman pong babae, si Christine. Yung manner of expression niya naman po ay by giving. Giving po, you know, ini-express niya yung love niya, yung concern niya. Not by words, but he always gives. Ano po, mga, mga item, mga pangangailangan namin. Ano po. Pero yun yung napag-aralan namin, na yun yung kanyang way of expressing his love his thought na po, his idea about us. Uh, pero naman po kaming isang anak din, yung pinakamatanda namin, medyo direct to the point naman. Ito po, uh, uh, parang uh, direct to the point, parang strong agad ang dating. Pero that was his way of expressing his thought about the matter and on hand. Ito po. Uh, Natutuwa naman po kami dahil uh, we have learned to learn that individually from them. Na meron silang iba-ibang pamamaraan to express their feelings, their love and concern, and answer to all the issues at hand pagka ano po, uh, nag-uusap-usap. So meron po silang iba't-ibang pamamaraan and we should learn that from our children. Hindi po iisa ang pamamaraan ng ating since they are unique and individual person created by God, meron po sila ding uniqueness in expressing their their thoughts, their their minds on a certain issues. Ano po? Kaya po, napaka-importante po na, na maintindihan natin ano po, yung ating mga anak on their own personal level of expressing their emotions and feelings. Uh, yun po. Pero, the vital uh, area that uh, required by proper communication is really talking. Ano po. Uh, misan po, hindi yan pwedeng i-express lang ng, ng pagbibigay ng mga bagay-bagay or by just saying one word. Ano po. Dapat po talaga, there is the ability to express meaning, to to explain, to express meaning, to, ex- to explain, and explaining sometimes need many words to do it. Ano po? Yun po. Pero the point is, uh, yung pong communication talaga pong napaka-importante sa isang pamilya. And, and in every organization, even sa work po, napaka-importante po ng communication. Now, going back to the topic ng, ng family communication, uh, Paano naman po yung family communication in God's way? So, yun po yung i-add on natin, you know, which is important and very important in this area of communication inside the family. Uh, siguro po ang number one, 
na na requirement to be able to for a, to a family to 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 help or to strengthen the ability to communicate among every member of the family is siguro po first and foremost we should be leaning po, and depending on God siguro po napaka importante sa magulang natin na ma-instill nila talaga in every area talaga po ito yung ito yung kakailanganin natin to be able to establish whatever kind of upbringing na gusto natin sa ating mga anak kailangan po alam natin kung ano yung yung relationship ng ating buong pamilya sa ating Panginoon we have discussed this communication 101 our relationship with the Lord Siguro po ito yung dapat talagang number one na basic foundation to be able to establish a, a well-founded uh, no and a strong foundation ng ating pamilya. Dapat every areas of the family, every member of the family should know Christ as their personal Savior and Lord. Kasi po hindi magiging mahirap na maunawaan nila ang lahat ng mga ang lahat ng mga issues na kakaharapin ng buong pamilya kung grounded po sila sa salita ng Diyos. Kaya po, siguro po ito yung number one requirement no po, to be able to build a strong communication and found, yung foundation po dapat ng pamilya natin is grounded on the on God. No po, dapat po yun ang una natin ang responsibilidad sa ating mga anak, uh, mga tayo po mga magulang. Dapat po talaga yung faith ng ating mga anak ay at yung knowledge ng ating mga anak at yung faith sa Panginoon dapat po present kasi po magiging madali at mauunawaan ka agad-agad if the entire family believes in the Lord Jesus Christ kaya po yan po dapat yung una natin na requirement na ituro dapat sa anak before we could build a strong family we start from the door And ano naman po ang masasabi ng Panginoon sa family communication in God's way? Late night talks, notes on the fridge, dinner converse, conversation, and in a million other ways, the heartbeat of the family is expressed in our communication with each other. The Bible teach us and we could discover some practical principle of communication from Ephesians 4 that will enhance our family interaction. So sinasabi po dito, from the word of the Lord, we could discover some practical principle of communication for our family, especially in the book of Ephesians, that will help us enhance our family's interaction. One principle po na dapat na, na magagawa natin, una, to, to be able to establish a strong communication uh, ng ating buong pamilya. Ang una po, isa sa prinsipyo na dapat natin gawin bilang mga magulang, make your home a haven of peace. Uh, make your home a haven of peace. Sinasabi po dito sa Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 3, Basahin po natin. No. Ang sinasabi po sa Ephesians verse 1, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. As a prisoner of the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit. So ito po yung sinasabi dyan. Sa Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. Conflict is a normal part of every home, of any home. What will set your family apart is how you 
is how you respond to each other when circumstances collide. According to Ephesians 4, verse 1 to 3, what are the practical instructions regarding the attitude we need to adapt to, pro to promote a spirit of unity in our homes? Think of a family member who would be strengthened by your words and action. Think of how to express your cares to them today. So yung sinasabi po ng chapter chapter 4 ng Ephesians verse 1 to 4, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of spirit through the bond of peace. So yun pong bahay natin. Actually po, yan din isa sa mga prayers namin dyan in every morning. The, bless, the first blessing that me and my wife is praying every morning is yung peace and serenity of the house, of the atmosphere of the house. Yan po yung unang prayer namin parate na hinihingi na namin ni Gigi every time we pray in the morning. Peace and serenity of the house. Yung, bang, yung presence ng Lord ay maramdaman ng bawat isa sa loob ng tahanan nito. Na po. And even if we are also praying that uh, yung light of the Lord be shine apart upon in each and every one of us member of this family. At pinagpe-pray din po namin every morning na yung light yung yung light ng Panginoon hindi lamang sa aming mag mag mag-shine kundi even into the entire house na pinagpe-pray namin that everybody kung titingin sila sa bahay sa labas they can see the light of the Lord. Yung bang parang may kakaiba na nakikita dito sa, sa bahay kahit nakatingin ka from the outside makita nila yung liwanag ng, 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 ng Panginoon. So, yan po yung every morning prayer namin ni Gigi. Yung peace and serenity ng, ng loob at labas ng tahanan ito. That if anybody is looking at the house, they can see some, some peaceful ambience and serenity. And there is light shining upon even out, out, outpouring outside the house outside the house outside the house na po nalalaramdaman ng sino mang papapatingin sa loob ng ta sa, sa labas ng tahanan ito yun po yung una naming pinapanalangin dapat po yung ating pamamahay ay uh, heaven kaya po uh, ang ginagawa namin ni Ma'am Gigi po na uh, we make see to it that everything in the house is in order in every aspect of the house so that when our children arrive, no po, galit pagod po sila sa trabaho, no po, at uh, marami silang mga 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 concerns sa kanila mga trabaho. Pero ang 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 ay ang hinihiling po namin sa pananat, ang ginagawa din namin ni Gigi, we prepare everything, no po, from the food, from their rooms, from their beddings, from their uh, mga damit, lahat po yan inaayos namin. So that when they enter the house after facing a lot of challenges in their works, they could feel heavenly feeling yung pang makakarest yung kanilang physical na pangatawan at yung kanilang kaisipan ay makakahi, makakapahinga. No po? And they will feel that that uh, mag magaan yung, yung pagpasok nila sa loob ng tahanan nito. Kaya po, yun po yung sinasabi ng nang una natin na na sinabi na make your he, your home a haven of peace po. Secondly, sinabi po yung another principle that will establish a strong communication foundation of the family. Is speak the truth in love. Sa Ephesians 4, chapter 4 pa rin po, verse 14 to 16 and 25. To speak the truth means to be honest even when that involves taking a risk. To speak in love is to communicate the truth in kind and gentle terms. Open, it has less to do with what you say than with how you say it. Minsan daw po, uh, yung pamamaraan ng pagsasalita natin, ang mas malaking epekto kaysa doon sa issue talaga. No po? 
Pero kung difference yung how we talk about the issue no po, and the manner that we say it. Misan po yung baksak ng ating mga salita. Merong ibang kahulugan kaysa dun sa ini-imply natin no po, na kasagutan out of the problem. Misan po, we need to be very gentle talaga in bringing issues na involve yung ating mga anak. We should find yung words talaga na right to be able for them not to be offended. Especially po pag malalaki na po yung ating mga anak. They have the mind of their their of their own. They have they have a way of their own in so many things. Misan po nagbe-breakdown ng communication. Kahit na maganda po yung intensyon natin on the matter on hand and pero nagkakaiba po siya at nagkakaroon ng difference in the manner na we bring it out no po yung mga kind of words that we use ni po ba minsan diyan po nagbe-break down yung communication even if we have the best intention intention but the right words the right intention needs a right way of saying it and the right word to say it yun po uh, diyan nagkakaiba minsan no po Minsan iba yung dating ng salita natin, iba rin yung pili ng salita natin no po, na nag- nakaka-open sa ating mga anak. Especially when they are grown up, when they have the ideas of their own wherein they could think farther on what you are saying or the open sila sa pamamaraan ng ating pagbabalita. Kaya din naman yung mga anak natin uh, in, uh, in inviting them to express their feelings their thoughts, their minds. No po. Dapat din po yung mga anak natin should find the right word. Saying their feelings doesn't mean that they that they disrespect no po, the family. Dapat po out of love pa rin po yung salita natin. Both ways, the parents and the children in communicating the issues at home. Dapat po, uh, we should be aware of the words no po, and the, the manner that we say whatever is, is on our mind concerning the matters of our life. Both ways din po yan. Dapat din po yung mga anak, maingat din sa pagsasalita uh, at sa pagsasalita at paggamit ng salita, yung pagbaksak ng salita at gamit ng tamang salita. Para hindi po mabreak yung, yung love despite of issues, nandun pa rin po yung love and respect towards one another. Dapat po dyan pa rin naka-angkla yung pong yung pong expression natin and of what want what we wanted to say at gain din naman po yung mga anak dapat po malawak din ang pag-unawa minsan po yung totoo naman po yun na minsan eh because of the situation yung baksak because of our authority in being parent parati po natin na rin karapatan ko yan magulang ako ganyan pero if there is a better way to do it to say it and using the right word to say it, much better po ni po ba? At ganyan din naman yung mga anak ng yung pagsasalita at pagsagot na po. Minsan dyan din po nagkapagulo. Parang sa pamamaraan ng pagsasalita ng mga, ma- ng mga anak natin ay uh, mali ang dating sa amin bilang mga magulang kasi may panibagong issue na papasok. Mag-ingat ka doon pagsasalita mo. Anak ka lang namin, mga ganang mga ganyan, di ba? Kasi yun ang mga anak, parang lumaki na, parang alam na nila lahat. Di po ba? Meron ganyang attitude ng ating mga anak habang lumalaki sila. Parang they know more than us. Di po. Pero yung pagrespeto ng mga anak, dapat alam natin, and yung honor natin, na yung ating mga magulang ay tumanda na at dumaan na sa maraming, sa maraming challenges of life. Di po. At of course, we know children that we your parents have more experience than you minsan matigas man yung pagsasalita namin but it doesn't mean to to hurt you but to to stress the importance of what is on our mind no po, and our feelings towards the issues and hell kaya po malaki din po yung uh, area na importansya dito sa 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 communicating no po The, ma- the, the parents and the children, dapat po yung the manner, there should be love and respect abound, abounding on the moment that we are discussing issues at hand.
dapat po na, 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 na you speak the truth in love. Yung po yung sinabi na, na, na second principle natin. Consider how you comfort. In what ways can your love be lovingly expressed to others? How their action affects your life? Examine your motives and attitude as you plan to communicate the way you speak the truth. Remember, you can be a catalyst for a growth in their lives. This is concerning our parents. Consider how you confront. In what ways can you lovingly express to others how their actions affect your life? Examine your motives and attitude as you plan to communicate the way you speak the truth. Remember, you can be a catalyst for growth in their life. So, ito po ito sa yung the parents. Uh, it is uh, a call na we have to to examine the motives and our attitude and plan it how we could communicate the truth to our children. At tandaan daw natin, the way we brought up the matter to our children, the way we use the right words in expressing the, our feeling on the issues on hand, pwede po, uh, can be a catalyst for growth in their lives. Matututo po sila no po, kung paano yung ating mga anak ay nakita sa atin, kung paano natin uh, ginagamit yung communication system sa family na kung paano natin uh, isinasagawa yung manner of our communication with our children. Ano man po yung matutunan nila at makita nila sa, sa atin. In our way of communicating issues with our children, alam, tandaan po natin na ina-adapt po na yan, nila yan, ina-absorb nila yan kasi nga po, yung family is the bleeding gum and one aspect of a good Uh, and a strong family foundation is yung natutunan nila yung proper way of communicating. And, and later on, ay gagamitin po nila yan. Ano man yung pamamaraan natin, ina-adapt nila yan ng ating mga anak. At gagamitin nila later on uh, sa kanila ding pamilya. Sa kanila ding pamilya. Gagamitin nila yung style na yan. So we should be always careful on that. Because our children will go into this age sooner when they are building or having their own family. So we must speak the truth in love. Number two principle po is to communicate intentionally. Sa Ephesians uh, chapter 4 verse 17 at saka po Ephesians chapter 4 pa rin verse 21 to 24. So unahin po natin yung communicate intentionally. Ang ating po reference ay Ephesians chapter 4, 4 verse 17. So ano po yung sinasabi sa chapter 4 verse 17. Una muna po chapter 4 verse 17. Seventeen. So I tell you this, and insist, insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live in the Gentiles, as the den- Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. So yung pamamaraan daw po natin ng, ng ating pagsasalita base sa pamamaraan ng sarili natin based on our own thinking, ay dapat daw po ay hindi na tayo doon na bubu. Dapat po when we are in the Lord, meron pong pamamaraan ng Panginoon in every areas of their life. Like ito po, talaga pong napaka-importante na meron tayong relasyon sa Panginoon because in whatever areas ara- needed arise, dito, we could go back to the Word of God and ask the Lord what is His take on, on the matters at hand. Dito, katulad po dito, com- proper communication po ng entire household. So, dapat daw po ay uh, yung thinking natin is different from the way we were nung hindi pa po tayo nakapakilala sa Panginoon. At ang sinasabi po, po sa chap sa verses 
chapter 4 pa rin po, verses 21 to 24 naman po. Uh, sa chapter 21 po ang sinasabi, Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off old self which is being corrupted by the deceitful desire. To be made in new in the new attitude of your mind and to put on a new self created to be like God in the true righteousness and holiness. So yun po yung sinasabi, na po yung sinabi natin na dapat po uh, since uh, we are in Christ no po, in, in every areas of our family matters no po, and entirely in our areas of our lives we can depend upon the Lord no po. since we are a new creation there is a proper way of doing it the, uh, concerning the matters on hand if we are very aware of God's word pwede po tayong bumalik sa ating Panginoon sa, pam- sa pamamagitan ng pagkasalita ng tama no po, uh, upang matutunan natin ng tamang pamamaraan to be able to deliver what is, is the issues on hand dapat po pamamaraan na base sa Panginoon even in our way of communicating with our children and with the rest of the world dapat meron pong tamang pamamaraan na sinasabi sa salita ng Diyos Sabi po dito, communicate intentionally. Think about the communicate, communication pattern you learn in your parents' home. Evaluate those positive and negative patterns as you determine the communication pattern you'd like to characterize your home. What model in Ephesians chapter 4, 17, 21 to 34 establishes how you should communicate? Another principle po uh, for building a good communication, be angry and yet do not sin. Yan po. So, we could uh, discuss the matter on hand in a proper communication by not being angry. And that will not res- that will result for us to create a sin. That is another issue. Sa naman po. Kaya dapat po, when we, when we are trying to communicate, with our children, no? let us not be angry and let us not sin because of the good intention of, of start t- taking up the matter on hands by means of communication. Huwag po tayong magkasala. No po. Uh, let us not be angry. Anger is a God-given emotion. Sometimes, it, it's even the most appropriate emotion you can have in family conflict. But righteous anger concentrates on the wrong being done. Its goal is to right the wrong constructively, not to punish the person. What is the difference between feelings and anger and angry expression? What governs how you express your anger? How should anger be expressed in the light, uh, in the light of uh, your commitment to build up one another? So actually po, totoo po ito eh. Misan po, uh, we are dealing with the matter at hand, no po, with the issues at hand, and uh, we have the good intention to communicate it. Pero minsan po, during the, the process uh, the, of conversation and expressing oneself, and even uh, when we're talking to our children, tapos po, may me may, may, another may, may anger po na present po doon. Misan po dyan nag-destroy nag, nag o nag, nag-broken down yung communication process of understanding. Nadadagdagan po yung problema uh, pagka hindi po tama yung ating approach. Or even we could be angry but we could be angry not, pero not sinning po. No? Hindi rin nakadagdag sa ng dambigat sa sitwasyon. Of course, yun nga daw po, yung po daw being angry is a, is a God-given, uh, God-given uh, emotion. No po? 
Anger is a God-given emotion. Sometimes it even, it's even the most appropriate emotion you can have in family conflict. But righteous anger concentrate on the wrong being done. Its goal is to right the wrong constructively, not to punish the person. So yun po yung difference ng dalawa. Yung anger na very good pa rin po, pero pag lumakpas na po siya, ay uh, yung anger po, hindi na yung issue on hand kung bakit tayo nagagalit o nagkikipag-communicate. Nagiging personal na po yung atake lumaki. Ibig sabihin, lumaki yung issue. At nag-create siya ng another problem. Kasi magkakaroon ng animosity, again, doon po sa result ng communicating the issue to our children or the issue, the, the issue of our children to us as parents. No po? So instead na yung issue, naging personal na yung tao na ang inaatake ng anger natin. And that is wrong. So ano po yung uh, 4.29 po. Ephesians 4.29. Sabi po dito, uh, build each other up in wholesome language. So, ang reference po natin dyan is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. Ito po ang sinasabi dyan. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that that it may benefit those who listen so yun po yung sabi do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth but only what is helpful to building others up according to their needs yun po, yun po ang sabi that it may benefit those who will listen kadalasan po yun yung nangyayari Mali, maganda naman yung intention natin because of the issues on hand we decided to communicate it with the, with, with the person in the family kaso yung manner of talking natin nauna yung galit tapos po yung galit na overcome na yung magandang intention to, to settle the issue nauna na po yung galit pum, pumasok na yung galit tapos yung kung galit natin yung, because of our anger yung issues on hand na tabunan yung anger natin at hindi na po yung issue ang, ang dinidiscuss natin kundi we are attacking the person na po na dapat ay we are, we, we are trying to communicate the issues and find a solution ang nangyari po nanguna na yung na overcome na ng, ng anger yung ating pakikipag-usap hindi po na resolve yung issues naging personal po yung issue na yun at uh, yun po Uh, nag-create na siya ng another problem. Nagkaroon na ng animosity at anger na yun muna sa bawat side. So, nag-broken down po yung communication dapat na maganda naman sana ang intention. So, sabi po ng another principle, choose kindness and forgiveness principle po ng building a good communication. Sabi po dito, choose kindness and forgiveness. Ang verse po natin tungkol dito sa choose kindness and forgiveness can be found in Ephesians 4 chapter 4 verse 31 to 32. Your home, your most intimate place on earth needs to be a greenhouse of beauty and growth for, your, for you and your family. But this will only happen when you follow the instruction. When you're tempted to treat each other harshly, consider God's model of forgiveness and choose instead to be tender toward each other. Ask yourself this question. Do bitterness, wrath, clamor, and slander describe your home? Or do you choose to reflect the forgiveness God has given you and be tender-hearted to your family? Why not make Ephesians 4, chapter 31 to 32, to 32, your family's motto? Meditate on it, memorize it, and model it in front of your kids. So, ano po ang sinasabi ng choose tenderness and forgiveness ng Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32? So, ito po ang sinasabi. 31. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger growling and slander along with every form of malice. 32 po. 
Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ forgave you. So ulitin po natin. Sa 31 po, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ forgave you. So yan po yung dapat yung intention natin while we discussing issues and communicating with our family no, members. Po, no? We choose to be kind and forgiving. Bago po no, kung mayroon pong issues o nagawa yung ating mga anak sa atin o uh, tayo naman mga anak na nagawang pagkakamali uh, din. Dahil hindi naman din po perfect yung parents just as the children may not, are not perfect. Because nobody is perfect in this world. Yun po yung una natin uh, Uh, isipin parati na po. No? Uh, kaya nga po namatay si Kristo sa cross ng Calvary dahil sa imperfection natin lahat. So, when we are dealing issues towards the family no po, and, uh, and we discuss through communication, parati po natin isipin na we are on the same level, we are on the same boat. Both of us sins, both of us, the, pa- the, the father, the mother, the children are sinning. So, Uh, on the back of our mind, when we uh, discuss matters on hand, no po, issues on hand, our challenges on hand, that we need to communicate with one another, always have in, in our minds and in our heart and choose kind and forgiveness. If there is a sin involved in the issue, matters on hand that we need to discuss or communicate with one another, always have In advance, in our mind, we have choose to be kind and forgiving, whatever the issues are, and uh, we come up with uh, with ideas and uh, action to be taken of, so that the issues on hand that was being communicated could be put to rest. No, dapat open-minded po both one another, and they have, they know that they need. Kindness and forgiveness in their heart, both the parents and the children. So napakaganda po ito na, na ang pinagbasihan nga po dito. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ forgave you. Ano po? Kasi tayo nga ay tinatawad ng ating Panginoon. Ano po? Yung, yung katulad po ng expression ng, ng pagmamahal sa atin ng Panginoon, He died on the cross. Ano po? And He has lived us the words in the Bible that we could uh, have references in every details of our of our lives. So, iyan po. So, napaka importante po ng uh, ng communication sa family. And thank you for Mr. Art Tumol for the subject matter on hand na contribution niya po to discuss. Ulit ko po again. Late night talks, notes on the fridge, dinner conversation, and in a million other ways, the heartbeat of the family is expressed in our communication with each other. Put out your Bible and discover some practical principle of communication from Ephesians chapter 4 that will enhance your family's interaction. So yan po. Uh, let us go back to the to the uh, to the words of Mr. Art Tumor. Communication issues are indeed common in families, but they can be addressed effectively by applying principle found in the Bible by fostering open, honest, and respectful communication grounded in love and forgiveness. Families can overcome misunderstanding. strengthen relationship and create a supportive and a harmonious environment for everyone involved. So, ayan po, no po. Ulitin po natin, no po, yung importance of communication uh, in the family. No po. Dapat po, isa sa nurturing aspect ng breeding ground as a family. No po. Ang, yung po communication na matutunan ng ating Their ability to express their feelings, their ideas, their thoughts, no po, their needs, no po, uh, and 
whatever emotions that they have in a certain areas of their life, they, they could have managed to freely express it. So, po, uh, dahil dyan po, dito po sa pamilya na tutunan ng lahat, this is the breeding ground. And once they get out of the house to be a part of the society in every organization outside the house, they could have the ability to communicate and to listen in an organization, especially pag nagtrabaho na po sila. They belong to one organization in whatever company that they are hired for. And yung pong manner of their communication can play a vital role sa kanilang uh, sa kanilang pakikisalamuha sa outside world and the company that they belong in any organization that they sa school so po, sa mga teachers sa mga kaklase at sa lahat ng, ng outside organization that they will be involved, involved with they could, could have uh, a spirit of good communication so po, with the outside world and that is where the family no po, uh, plays a vital role in the, sa ating mga anak. Po. And with that, uh, I hope na we have learned a lot for this. And ganyan din po yung, yung, yung request natin to our subscribers and to our listeners uh, na if you have some topics that you would like us to 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 discuss no po katulad po nitong si Mr. Art Tumoy uh, nagpapasalamat po kami diyan and we know that every family have experiences that other family could learn to and be inspired of no po so may mga subject matters po kayo that that we want to that you want us to 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 brought into everyone by using our family blog you are most welcome po we will appreciate po yan yung pong contribution ninyo and we will honor you for the contribution that that you want to share with our viewers po uh, alam po natin na every part of a family every mem every family has different stories to tell no po every children has different stories to tell. No po, kaya po, alam po natin na uh, your story no po, will inspire other family. Uh, no po, kaya po, we encourage you to, to, to contribute on topics that you want us to share with our viewers. Po. Uh, maraming maraming pong salamat and we hope that uh, the topic for today uh, bring us enlightenment and solidify our family structure concerning communication. God bless po and uh, happy weekend. Ay, start of the week po pala ngayon. Happy, happy start of the week. Blessed full week po sa atin lahat. God bless po. Thank you so much Mr. Art Tumor.